<laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of game? <laughs> the Shadow Knows. Hi, I'm the Shadow Knows, and I'm back with another package from China. And I have to admit, I already opened it because I was expecting something different because this came much much quicker than I expected and it's a super game 2021 Pro China version which is a cartridge for the uh, SNES uh, the cartridge feels a little bit flimsy not very solid but I I wanted the uh, transparent red one and it also comes with a micro SD card 8 gigabyte and it has some holographic sticker on the back which is unusual for a cheap micro SD card. Yeah, the Master System cartridge felt uh, a little bit more solid, but yeah, it, it, was, it was only like 27 bucks shipped. And this is remarkable. It came in this bubble wrap bag. And it got this sticker on it which reads three exclamation marks note please read this prompt carefully before use contact us for help first please do not upgrade the firmware the firm uh, firmware upgrade will damage the game card and you will not be able to get after sale service after the upgrade second please do not damage the fragile sticker after being damaged, after sale, it cannot be obtained. And I think the fragile stickers are those. But uh, as I already mentioned, it only cost like 27 bucks, I think, shipped. And let's see how all this works. I'm pretty sure this is just an old EverDrive for the NES. Uh, a clone of that. Uh, yeah, and I will also see how this compares to my other flash card that I have for the NES, the Super UFO 8, which, yeah, the, the huge advantage is that you can use this one to clone your cartridge, to dump your cartridges, and I think you can also plug in a... Uh, a uh, yeah, a cartridge with the uh, with the uh, extra chip on it, and uh, play another game that also uses this chip. It is supposed to do this. Yeah, this is significantly more heavy than this. Also, the plastic feels better, but uh, at least the cover of the upper cartridge slot is not fitting very great and it also uses SD cards what's inside there I haven't used it for quite a while ah. I have a 2 gigabyte card in that Not sure if it came with the card, but it's. I have this for for a really long time, and back then this was significantly cheaper than the original EverDrive for the SNES, and even much more cheap than the uh, SD2 SNES, which is now called differently because. Uh, 
yeah, they did not license the use of the name SD. Uh, the Chinese do it a little bit different. They call this the uh, TF2 SNES. And TF Transflash is uh, an early name for micro SD cards. I think before they got uh, standardized, uh, they were well, micro SD uh, Transflash cards. And it also came with this business card, which says welcome on the one, if you read it like that, and thank you if you read it like that. And it's from a seller and it writes, uh, hello dear friend, thank you for purchasing our products. We are from China, a professional manufacturer of game accessories. We have a complete research and development system that can meet the customized need of customers complete quality control system to ensure stable product quality. Please follow our shop. You can get the latest product information, have the opportunity to get coupons and free product trials. If you have a project and want to cooperate with us, please send us an email to the shop was called ZG Mosel. We will give you the greatest support and help. Sincerely, sincere regards, best wishes. Yeah. Did not get that with the master system card either. But at least the text on the back is reasonable. Do not immerse in water. Do not store at extreme temperatures. Do not clean with benzene, paint thinner, alcohol or such solvents. Yeah, this would be uh, an interesting comparison. I know one downside of this, and that's one reason why I got this, is uh, this cannot do long file names. So, I hope the original Everdrive uh, for, the NES, for the SNES can do long file names. It's much more comfortable. I don't have to rename all the games into uh, something that you can recognize with eight characters. So yeah. So uh, yeah, see you back in the second part when I actually try this cartridge out and compare it to the uh, Super UFO. Okay, I popped the cartridge into my Super Nintendo and this is what it comes up with and it's clearly an Everdrive. So let's see what options we have. Set return, auto save. So it is supposed to to save uh, the games. Okay, you can actually, but you cannot change the region. And it says Everdrive ID. Save load SRAM, device info. Yeah, it's a Super Everdrive with an OS version of 12. And a firmware version 1. And you're not supposed to update the OS, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah. And this is not properly filled up. Assembled in China, so that's... So let's see what games are on the SD card. What are fig ROMs? I don't know. New Super Famicom ROMs. Okay. Let's just pick a random one. And yes, it is slow, but I think the uh, old Everdrives are also slow.
okay. And I have no clue what this is. It's something I don't understand because it's in a language I don't understand. Yeah, no point. Continue playing this. There's a reset button. Yeah, I, I already have had a look at, at the ROMs on, on this SD card and I found out, uh, yeah, it's not the most useful. It does work. There is even a button. Let's have a look at Super Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, and this is a really large ROM, so it will take half an eternity to boot. This was only erasing the flash memory. But it does everything that an EverDrive should be able to do. Um, I probably would not recommend uh, getting this exact version of the EverDrive because, um, yeah, because of the games that are included on, on this SD card. But you can always put your own games on. One thing I found out, which I find a little bit weird, is that I cannot read the SD card on my Linux PC. And the same thing happened to uh, another card I prepared myself. Copied all the, the ROMs to it that I wanted. Uh, put it into the uh, flash card once. And after that uh, it would not show up in, uh, in the file manager. Come on. I just won't have a very quick play. And this was one of the games why I bought my Super Nintendo. Because I really enjoy playing this. And I think it's a great game. And yes, I do have the original cartridge for this. I was lucky that I bought my SNES like 12 years ago or so. And I bought uh, a set with that came with a... Oh. With a few cartridges. Basically, I, I looked up... Uh, on eBay and uh, waited until there was uh, a Super Nintendo that came with basically all the games I wanted to play. So I did not have to uh, to hunt uh, the games that I that I wanted. Only game that. Uh, wasn't included in this package that I wanted to play was Earthworm Jim. And I got that cartridge from eBay right after. Oh shit. Right after I got my Super Nintendo. And I don't think I did get any other cartridge 
after my initial purchase. Because I'm, I'm not a fan of Nintendo consoles. I appreciate uh, the quality of the games. And there are really quite a lot of games on the uh, on the Super Nintendo that you would like to play. Shit. Yeah, but I think you get the point. This is just another clone of the Everdrive. So, uh, yeah, let's change to the uh, Super UFO cartridge and have a quick look at that so you can see the difference. Okay, I'm back with the Super UFO cartridge. And as you can already see, it's more sophisticated. Which also means it's more complicated. What does normal mean? Or oh, hyper? Yeah, and I haven't used it for an eternity. Play SD card. SD card. Yeah, and one real drawback is uh, that it uh, only does Plus one, and there's no Donkey Kong Country on this. God, oh, oh yeah, there is. Right, just try this one. Yeah, it's also not very fast. And the main difference is, this is an old development. I mean, I have this cartridge for like eight years or so. It, it's not available anymore. It, you can't get it new and it's becoming quite pricey used I've seen it for for sale between 100 and 150 euro which is really expensive and I think the only plus is uh, that you can dump your own cartridges with that and then that's not Donkey Kong Country no, that's Diddy's, Con Diddy's Conquest yeah, the great disadvantage of uh, of only being able to uh, have eight characters. But as you can see, this cartridge also does what it's supposed to do. But to be honest, and yeah, and that's what, what I got the Everdrive for, because I already had a working flash cartridge, but I find the Everdrive much more convenient to use in everyday life. just because it does proper long file names and it does not demand you to uh, to deal with a complicated menu I mean it's not that complicated but I really found uh, the Everdrive more convenient so let's have a look 
add the other features from the suit. Okay, and I have to turn this one off and on again to get back to the menu. I think. SD card list file. So what's the point of this? Ah, you can rename. Okay, I get it. Yeah, this is for cheats. So this also has some... Fee oh, no, I turned back the music back on. Yeah, it's, it's it can do much more. You can... You have various backup features. But to be honest, especially because uh, this card isn't produced anymore and uh, you get those cheap... I paid less than 30 euro for the EverDrive clone shipped from China <coughs> and it came in less than two weeks. So, honestly, I don't think there is uh, a reason to get uh, the Super UFO unless you want to dump your own cartridges. And since you get a dump for every cartridge on the internet, uh, yeah, I don't see much, much use in this. We'll keep this cartridge anyway because, uh, yeah, I think it's... It is of use and it's, it's, it's nice to have this in my collection. But I probably mostly use the uh, EverDrive clone from now on. Maybe I will get an SD to SNES or whatever it's called uh, nowadays. I know they had to change the name because they uh, got in trouble with... Uh, I think it's SanDisk who owns the trademark for SD. That's why you uh, n rarely get something SD in China. They call it uh, TF, Transflash, which was the uh, prototype name for micro SD. And I have already seen a TF2 SNES cartridge on uh, AliExpress. Yeah, that was my quick video uh, about the what is what was it called? Uh, the Super Game 2021 Pro China version. Um, the EverDrive clone. As I already said, I would not recommend, especially to get this cartridge. The only reason why I got this uh, version of this cartridge is uh, because I, I wanted the red shell. But. Uh, I would recommend to get a non-China version uh, because the games that you will get with that uh, are probably more useful for a Western user. But you can always put your own ROM files onto the SD card, so that's, that's really a, a minor issue. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this quick video and thanks for watching.